This is Colin with Maker Farm. In this TiVo Tarantula video, we're going to show you how to wire the power supply if you're located in the United States. You're going to need your power supply, the power cord that came with your printer, the red and black thick wire that came with your printer. You'll also need some tools to cut and strip wire and a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the plastic from the power supply. Then you'll notice on one side of the printer you have your voltage input selection. If you're in the United States, you're going to want to push that switch to the left so it's under 110 volts. If you're in a country that uses 220 volts, push that switch to the right to select 220 volts. Now on our black and red wire, we're going to remove a little bit of the insulation at the ends. I usually do about a quarter of an inch so that I can uh, have enough room to screw those into the screw terminals. This wire is going to be the main wire that supplies power to your printer. If you notice on your power supply you have V minus and you also have a V plus. The red wire we're going to put in the V plus the black wire we're going to put into the V minus. So go ahead and use your screwdriver to unscrew one of the terminals and then install the wire underneath there and then tighten it back down. When you're finished, it will look like this. You don't have to use the exact ports that I used, but you do want red to V plus, and your V minus connection is going to be for your black. Now we're going to install our power cord. If you notice at the end, there's going to be three wires, brown, green with yellow, and blue. Those are going to go into the far left connectors, which is L, N, and then the ground. Go ahead and loosen up those terminals. Then we're going to take the yellow and green wire and it's going to go under the ground symbol. Then tighten that down. The next one is the blue wire which is going to go on the N or neutral. Then the last brown wire is going to go under the L which is live. When you're finished this is how it should look and those should all be tightened down. Now we're going to test out our power supply. To do that we're going to plug it into the wall. Make sure the other end of the red and black wires are not contacting each other otherwise that will short it out. Go ahead and plug in your power cord now and you're going to notice on the right side there is a little green light showing that we have power and if you have a multimeter you can set it to DC volts Make sure you set it to something over 20. Mine's currently set to DC volts and 20. So I can read 12 volts. And then put the black lead on a V minus, the red lead on a V plus. And right now I'm getting 12.2 volts, which is right where we want it to be for our power supply. 